Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert. So since the last episode, it has not been a whole lot of time. Uh, I, d I have been sorting some additional things, uh, like some different gems and stuff, and some blocks, and some additional items back through here and stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and jump into what we're gonna, going to be doing today. And if you can guess by my hot bar, we're going to be heading into the end but of course we do have to find the end portal now i know that there is there is one that's been opened uh, but i don't i don't have the coordinates uh, i think it was open like the second day of the server or something like that uh, but we're going to just set out and find our own uh, just whichever one is closest to our base is fine uh, i'm gonna make six eyes of ender we'll probably end up having to make more especially if we come across well really only if we come across uh, one that's not been opened yet, but we may come across one that has been opened, you know. All right, looks like we are headed off. Oof. That's terrible luck to start out with. And we're also going to be keeping our eyes open for bees. So there's the water bay. And looks like we are still headed off in that direction. And something that I didn't bring uh, was my nature's compass, but I can get it later. But I am going to take this opportunity to... Uh, loot this a little bit okay it does look like we passed it so it's somewhere back in here yeah it's right down in this area somewhere that's perfect i'm not going to bother with another uh, pearl at this point we're just going to go down here oh actually came down right into the stronghold now, if we find bookshelves, you know, we'll take those, like the library. Uh, we'll probably loot those up. I'm pretty sure somebody's been here. There's a lot of Prismarine placed out. Uh, so this one is actually probably active, I'm willing to bet. Oh, we do have a library. But this is going to give us plenty of books uh, for a while. I mean, I've got a decent amount of books at this point, but this will put us at a really good spot. And there's always the chance that there's a second library in here, but I'm probably not going to loot the second library. Oh, plus one to looting. Um, I'm probably not going to loot the second library if there is one, just so, you know, there's another library for somebody else to get books out of. But honestly, this is enough books for me. <laughs> I'm going to leave the rest of it, I think. And I'll probably end up waystoning and dumping off my inventory. Oh, it's this side. Uh, loyalty 3, and we got some books out of there. Oh, looks like somebody has a nether portal. Ran over to here. Oh, and there's a waystone here. Okay, I'm gonna warp back. And here we go. Alright, so now at this point, we basically have endless ender pearls, more or less. Come back here. There we go. Uh, obsidian Bay. Oh, that's nice. Because uh, we can actually get uh, Flux with an Obsidian Bay. And if that's another one, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. It is. We have a bunch of Dimensional Shard or Thalassium. And can we break Thalassium? We can. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then I guess, um, I imagine what I'm going for. It looks like a lot of Ender Dragons have been killed, actually. Okay, there's it. Oh, and we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Rose of Oblivion. Okay, let's just go ahead, because probably what I'm going to be looking for probably isn't the same thing that other people are looking for, so it doesn't really matter if we go through here. I imagine most people were looking for, like, Elytras and things like that. And I mean, I'll pick up an Elytra at some point. Oh, it's so pretty. Better End Forge and Bombs You Go. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. That is why we brought our shears. Uh, also, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and load up on Ender Air. We'll go ahead and get 28 bottles of that. Uh, oh, and we got the End for Dummies book. And then I want to go ahead and grab, I want to start getting samples of flowers, basically. But the reason that we're here is not just for all the beautiful flowers. Uh, there is a lot to collect, though, between Better End Forge and Biomes You Go. So we're going to try to be taking samples of flowers and things as we explore in the end. 
because then later on we'll be able to add those to our sylph setup and we'll just have these flowers for building and stuff. And we do have some quark myelite. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple stacks of that as well. So Xavian just found a greatest band of mana out of the Undergarden dungeon. So, so we do know that uh, those can come from that. Okay, now one of the things that I'm actually on the lookout for is right here. Uh, Ender Ore. We're going to go ahead and break that and get some Ender Shards. Actually, I think I can Big Fortune those. Uh, so I should do that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a bit of Endstone at this point as well. Uh, okay, so let's get our Big Fortune. Yeah, there we go. There was four Ender Shards. All right, and let's fly out. I'm basically looking for this right here. Just more Ender Ore. And honestly, I wouldn't mind getting a bit of this. This is probably good. Well, no, probably not. Probably need more than that. And we actually have a Shulker Dungeon. Or Endermite in this case. But uh, Just Shulker Boxes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these, though. We actually have Lucernia here and I definitely want to get some of the vines looks like somebody built bridges across all this okay and right over there actually is oh there they are flying hippos um, but right over here this stuff right here aurora crystals I want to get um, I wonder if we can big fortune these we certainly can. I'm going to go ahead and add a waypoint to this, too. I'll try not to go crazy with just, like, breaking this without Big Fortune. Uh, just so that it makes it go a bit further. Uh, I would like some Silk Touch on this. Uh, but we can come back and get it. I mean, I don't have any plans for it, but... We'll use it for something, I'm sure. And honestly, 36 Crystal Shards should be fine for us at the moment. So what is this? I have to take a look. It's some kind of a weird dungeon because it's got like overworld ore spawning down here. And it does look like somebody's already been through this. Uh, oh wait. That's right. I can't break it with this. I'm going to take these skeleton skulls though. And we do have all these nifty shulker boxes that we can make use of. So We will definitely be playing the Gotta Catch Em All Plants game on this pack i had 13 in there honestly i've probably got enough but i'm going to gather up just a little bit more make sure that we've got plenty of ender crystal oh this is back where i came from um, now while we're here we could look for chorus i'm not that worried i'm can, i can come back anytime and get chorus i can come back anytime and go find an elytra i'm not worried about any of that to be perfectly honest like we don't really care plus it's going to be a lot easier for us uh soon enough so but what we want is the Ender Ore and the Aurora Crystals. Okay, so there's 36. I think that should be sufficient. And this is where we're going to be taking advantage of the fact that we do have Mana Diamonds from the Undergarden. Uh, we are going to be taking full advantage of it today. Now, how much... Uh, honestly, I'm probably going to move our God Forge. And as far as Spare relics that i have at the moment i'm going to keep this one in case maybe somebody wants to trade because it is a really good one uh, for the half damage from undead you know that's actually pretty big uh, and i know i have montu strike over here and i've got a bow over in the pyramid but it's not a duplicate and at this point we're just going to grab all of our nebu that we've got uh we, wow he like barely uses anything how much glass do i have at the moment 167 so yeah this is, uh, this is going nicely. Uh, we'll just set this up right here for now. It's just temporary. Uh, toss that into there. And let's go ahead and just start breaking these down. Uh, basically breaking down these two for right now. And uh, how many different god shards are there? Fifteen. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and slot them into drawers so we can just have them all, you know? And what we're going to be looking for is specifically... A tomb relic that we're willing to break down. I do have some Atum relics, but I'm not willing to break them down because they're one of a kind for us right now. 
and I only really break down duplicates. But then let's go ahead and make ourselves some Godforged blocks. Okay, we got Onput's Grounding, Shoes Exile, Anubis's Wrath, and Horus's Ascension. I think I have these already. Shoes Exile is new. And puts grounding we do have. Horus's Ascension we do have. And the Anubis's Wrath. It's actually one that we had just broken down. So, Okay, so we got another God Shard or God Forge block. Let's see what we get. If it's Atom Shield, then we're in business. Isis Healing. Okay, I don't need that. All right, this is our last one. Then I'll have to go farm Nebu. That's fine. What do we got? Another Anubis Wrath. Okay. Yeah, so it is time to go start farming some Nebu. Well, I just died, and we finally got expected result. I was actually hitting record because we had some Relic Orb, and I always try to have it recording whenever I do that because I've been trying to catch it on camera using Big Fortune to break Relic Orb in case it gives us a bunch of relics. I don't know if it works that way, but... I know that fortune does work for relic or and so I was like well I'll uh, I'll start the recording <laughs> and I knew there was a stone guard nearby but I was like well you know alt f9 and then I'll, I'll get to it but he smacked me and just like instantly killed me so I died I think that's actually the first time I've been hit by a stone guard. Because normally, I mean, they're super easy to dodge. But uh, that one didn't uh, didn't work out for me. Oh, and getting down there is going to be a little bit tricky. Because I just dug straight down. Well, we'll figure it out. There's got to be food in this town. I'm going to die. Ah, I knew it. Dang it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to actually take armor and food with me this time. And we're actually going to do something wonderful that I haven't really got a chance to use. Because by the time I got it, I had summon a horse. And then, you know, I could basically fly too. <laughs> so I haven't really got a chance to use it. But my flight book is over there. And I needs it. So let's go ahead and we're going to ride this pig. I think he's a little laggy uh, trying to go up these like bits of sand. But that's okay. He's still faster than hoofing it. Okay, yeah, it's right down here. You've been a good pig. Oh, does he. Oh, he didn't give me back my saddle. That's fine. I'm not that worried about it because I got like tons of the things. I got tons of the things from the fish farm. I didn't bring a pick with me, of course. And I'm basically just punching the stuff with my hands. With, oh. Okay. He's not around. And I guess I'll just leave my recording software running. Because, like I said, I want to I wanna try to find a time that we pop a relic ore and out comes a relic. Uh, just to see if it duplicates. Because if it does, oh my gosh, that's going to be so nice. I mean, the chance is so low, it's not really something that we're going to rely on necessarily. But it would just be kind of cool to for it to be like oh here's like 10 relics okay so we got 19 ore which is not a bad haul at all not to mention i got a bunch of uh shimmering mushrooms and i did get a shock pendant which it's possible you could use that for uh doing your lightning stuff but it's probably not like a super reliable method you know and while that's running i'm just gonna wash up all this stuff because there is i'm missing two things right now which it doesn't look like i got both of them um Oh, which I did get one new one. Um, the Sapphire Idol. So all I'm missing is the uh, the Emerald Idol. As far as the stuff from washing. That's all I'm missing. Alright, this should be just about to go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we got 46 Nebo. So we got 47 in total on us. That is not bad. Okay, so five more Godforge blocks. Seeing some new stuff. But I'm not seeing any 
Atum stuff. Uh, we did get Tefnut's Call, which I don't think we have. We do have Shoe's Breath, though. Oh, and we got another Tefnut's Call. Okay. Does it just summon... Uh, I guess it, it, it requires an enemy to be hit. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm out of Nebu ingots again. Um, I can always get this stuff later. I did just get the feet of Atim. I do want to keep this, but I tell you what, I'm going to use the sword and the shield and break these down. I can get them again. Ideally, I don't like doing that, but, but I kind of, before I go down there and it'll, it's going to make it a whole lot easier. What we're about to do, it's going to make it a whole lot easier for us to farm, um, Nebo. So I'd rather just go ahead and do this, I think. Not to mention we'll be getting our bees into apiaries before long. Uh, this was just kind of a higher priority right now. So we might actually take a look at that this episode. But we're going to go ahead and lay out four of our crystal shards, four of our ender shards, and one of our autium god shards. And we're going to be making eternal crystals. And I'm going to want six of these. Okay, so there's those. And then we're going to take two mana steel, two mana diamonds, four electrum, and our eternal crystal. And we are going to create mana pylons. Let me go ahead and lay out another one. There we go. There is our very first mana pylon. Okay, so there is our last mana pylon. Now let's pop back over to our pyramid. And of course, we're going to be using black lotuses for this, like blacker lotuses, because it's going to take a little bit of mana, but let me go ahead and slot these in. And I'm actually going to keep those because there's some other things I'd like to make. I don't know, a lot of these shards are going to be important for us. But we are going to be setting ourselves up a mana enchanter from Batania because I love these things. That's the reason I've been getting lots of nice books and I haven't been using them this entire time. Like we found a mending book, we found silk touch, we found fortune books, and I haven't used a one. I've been waiting for this the entire pack. There we go. <clears throat> so we got create a mana enchanter. Now we can, uh, and that's why this is here as well. And then let's just grab our sparks. We're going to put a spark on that. I don't think, like if I had a spark here, I don't think, oh, I will connect. Okay. Awesome. All right, now before we go crazy with that, let me gather up a few books here. All right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a grindstone. And we're going to pop down here. We'll set the grindstone up like, I don't know, right here is fine. Go ahead and we're just going to pull the enchantments off of this gear. Because we do have to start with a base of no enchantments. And we are going to get some XP out of it too, which is good. Go ahead and grind all those off. Four levels, not that much. But uh, but I am running out of XP in this. I've only got 19 levels because I was combining a few books. So for right now, we're just going to be enchanting armor mainly until I get some more XP built up. And that way I can make some really good stuff. Well, I don't know. We might be able to do like a silk touch pick because I don't have to upgrade that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our anvil. Just put that in. And we'll just toss down our splitting book. This shouldn't take a whole lot of mana. So there we go. How much mana did it take? Barely anything, I think, uh, from what I had. So, all right, we got our splitting one book, or our splitting one anvil. Uh, I'm going to put this away for right now. I'm going to be putting in some bookshelves <clears throat> so we can have our nice books kind of organized. But uh, we're going to take, this book is Protection 3 and Silk Touch. Uh, right, Silk Touch? Yeah, Silk Touch. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit it down and drop our anvil onto that. And now we have a Silk Touch book and a Protection 3 book. Need unbreaking for this, really. but uh, And then we'll just go ahead. How many levels is it to combine these two Protection 3s? Only four levels. Okay. I'm so excited. I love the Mana Enchanter. So, so much. 
Uh, now we can, of course, we can take these a lot higher and we will. It's just a process of me getting a little bit more XP built up and ideally having better splitting and then just I have to kind of work them up, you know. The Silk Touch book we're not going to need right now. We will want the protection four. That's the best I've got right this second. Uh, and then we have a book here that's Holding Five, Mending, and Vigilante Three. Oh, but this m probably actually won't be able to break it, will it? Because we're going to need Splitting Two. Let me pop over, see if I've got any more Splitting books that we could combine real quick. Okay, I actually do have a Bane of Villagers Four and Splitting One. Um, so I'll have to make another anvil with splitting one. Uh, and I guess really I should put unbreaking on these, but this is going to require two anvils. Okay, so on this first one, we're going to put unbreaking and splitting. And later on, I mean, technically we could make an enchanting setup right now, but, uh, later on we will and, uh, then we can always just enchant the anvils. Generally, you're going to get splitting um, or the other one, the one that breaks down books to like lower tiers. Uh, you'll generally get one of those. But Oh, you know what? We are actually out of mana. I wasn't paying attention to this. There we go. It does take a little bit more mana putting the unbreaking five, but it's going to be a little bit costly on mana right now, but there we go. Sometimes you got to like line it up a little bit to get it to hit just right. Uh, okay, so adding splitting and splitting four levels. And this anvil we can just tuck away. We will use it. And then we're going to go ahead and enchant with splitting two and unbreaking five. And we'll just kind of want to watch the us throw in a blacker lotus ever so often there we go there is our anvil with splitting two and now we should be able to break down this book so there we go and we're going to get three books out of that uh, i'm going to put this anvil away now we won't need it anymore for right now uh, and I'm going to put away Holding 5, and I'll put away the Vigilante, but we did get the Mending book that we wanted. Okay, now the fun begins. So what we're going to be doing, we are going to be enchanting out some armor. But our armor, we're going to do Unbreaking 5 on every piece, we're going to put Mending on every piece. Uh, we're going to put Protection 4 on every piece. And granted, there is some enchantments I'm not including, but uh, that's because we're going to save mana a little bit. We're going to be putting Vitality 6 on every piece. Soulbound on every piece. Uh, do we want Rebounding? It's really, really good. Um, we are going to be putting Mana Regen 3. We could push for better, but not yet. Just to save on stuff. We're going to be putting Mana Reboost, or Mana Boost 3 on everything. Chilling Rebuke and Rebounding 3. I mean, this is already going to be a lot of mana. No, nah, nah, we're not going to put those on there. Just because I do want to save mana and I don't want to get too crazy with it. So let's go ahead and start with, like, the chest. And we're just going to throw down all of our books. Here we go. It's going to be fun. And, of course, we need to watch this and basically throw in blacker lotuses as it needs them. There we go. And remember, aside from just the mana boost and the mana regen stuff, this armor is going to give us those effects too, innately. Uh, so it's going to boost our spellcasting substantially. Now there is, of course, a tier above this, the Archmage robes. And those will be sure to really heavily enchant, but we got time uh, before we push on to those. And how are we doing? Uh, this isn't actually going to take as much mana as I was thinking. I, I could probably afford the Chilling Rebuke and stuff, but I don't want to go too crazy because I still need to enchant other stuff. So Now the helmet's going to be expensive. The helmet's going to be very expensive. But luckily, if we do run out of mana, it's not a big deal. You know, we can... You know, it's going to keep its progress and we can go get more Black Lotuses or whatever. I actually don't think I'm going to have enough to enchant everything. I may have to go to the Undergarden for a little bit. Uh, but the nice thing is all these pieces are going to have mending, they're going to have soulbound, they're going to have unbreaking. 
mana boost, mana regen, protection, all the stuff that we want. Uh, and then later on, once we make better books, you know, we can re-enchant or get new armor and re-enchant it or whatever. All right, here we go. One black lotus left. We pull this off, and there we go. We got mana boost three, mana regen three, soul bound, vitality six, protection four, mending, and unbreaking five. That vitality six is going to boost our health a lot. It's going to be nice. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do legs next, because that's the last piece I've got that doesn't have special enchantments that it needs so go ahead and fire this up it's actually really exciting i've been waiting like all series for this just holding on just hoarding all my enchanted books because i hate using them i mean i know we can buy mending from villagers but i don't like villagers <laughs> because like with villagers mending is not like an awesome thing to get a hold of and to value and without villagers it's like an awesome thing to get a hold of and to value you know uh, so i just i don't know i like it like that i really think we're gonna have to go to the undergarden though and like get a few more black lotuses luckily i don't know this one's actually enchanting extremely fast oh you know what though i don't think it i think vitality is that chest only I, th I think that might be chest only, actually. For some reason, I'm thinking it is, and that may be why it's uh, seeming to take a lot less mana. There is our pants. Yeah, see, it's it's um, it doesn't have vitality. Yeah, that's chest only. I'm losing my mind. Uh, so we can take that off. Uh, so it's Soulbound, Protection 4, Mana Regen 3, Mana Boost 3, Unbreaking 5, and Mending on that. Okay, so next up, uh, I guess we'll do the Helmet next. Go ahead and get this out of the way. This one's going to be the most impactful, though. Now, technically, we could do Respiration, but we have Breathe Water Spell. I just don't see a point in Respiration. Later on, we will, just so we have more stuff on our helmet, just so it looks cooler. You know, the more enchantments you have, the better just because it's more enchantments. Uh, so, yeah, let's do this. And looking at Endermen is not going to make them mad at us. So that's another really nice benefit. Even though sometimes I do use that for luring them in, but honestly with spells, I just shoot them, you know. There we go. Okay. So we still got 34 left. That's not bad. There we go. Unbreaking 5, Mending, Protection 4, Soulbound, Mana Boost 3, Mana Regen 3, End Veil, Gormand 4, Aqua Affinity, and Night Vision. Wonderful. All right. And now, for the boots. And these are going to have the normal stuff and Soul Speed 3. Because, why not? Even though, generally, I just fly over Soul Sand, but... Yeah. <laughs> we just... We can do it. Um, honestly, I think I probably could have pulled off the Chilling Rebuke and the Rebounding, so I kind of regret not doing that, but it's just, without a, without a mana gen system, uh, you know, it worries me going crazy like that. Now, some things like Soulbound, just putting Soulbound on something, it's not going to be very expensive in terms of mana. But it's when you start, like, really stacking some heavy enchantments, that's whenever, you know, it starts taking a bit of mana. Okay, it sounds like that just finished up. Go ahead and top that back off a little bit. And there is our boots. Now I want to try... Uh, no, I can't put that on there. I was wondering if I could put it, like, soulbound onto it. Like, if we did this, does this work? Yeah, you can put Soulbound onto the Mage's Spell Book. Yeah, so what I'll have to do is just get a book uh, for it, and I'll probably wait till we have Mage's Spell Book, th or uh, the Tier 3 book, honestly, uh, to do that. But now, now the time has come. We're going to see how much Vitality, what is it, Vitality 6 gives us. We can say goodbye to this old diamond junk armor. Gourmand gives us so much saturation, it's ridiculous. Because this is uh this is Gourmand 4, and before we were only using Gourmand 2, so it's a pretty big jump. Yeah, so we've got we're up to yellow hearts. Awesome.
We have 1,705 mana, and let's see how fast it comes back. It comes back fast. Yeah, like, I'm probably, it's going to be really hard. Like, look at that. And then, oh, it's so much faster now. And, of course, we can get that mana regen higher. We can get that mana boost higher a bit later. But And then we also have night vision, which is good, too. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves an arcane stone now. And we're going to get ourselves a arcane pedestal. And then we're going to turn that momentarily into a ritual brazier. So there's that. We Oh, we got this. Uh, we're going to get a tablet of burrowing. Okay. Is there uh Yep. That's what I'm actually after right there. Now, there's a couple ways for us to get these experience gems. Uh, one of those methods is with the Tablet of Disintegration. Uh, also, we can use Drigme Charms. We're going to be using these very, very soon. But today, we're going to go with the Tablet of Disintegration method. Uh, so to make this, we just need Gold Swords, Blazing Archwood, and three books. And uh, Blazing Archwood, I maybe have it. That there kind of looks like blazing. Yeah, actually, uh, if you look at the bottom there, it says blazing archwood leaves. That's what I want. I love it because, like, I, I cannot, like, it's pretty much impossible for me to run out of mana whilst uh, flying anywhere. All right, so let's get our Tablet of Disintegration. And then let's go ahead and get some Nocturnal Powder to make this a little bit easier. Because basically what the Tablet of Disintegration does is it just eats mobs and turns them into experience. Uh, so what we're going to do, it does require Source to be nearby, so we're going to set it up near our Source Jars. Uh, we've got two next to us, that'll be perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the Tablet of Disintegration in. And then... We're going to go ahead... Oh. I did not realize that was going to break stuff like that. Oh, it actually broke my, uh, my arcane core. How interesting. Okay, there we go. You can see that it just ate all the mobs here. And it should still be active. Oh, it broke the ritual, though. That's fine. I've got enough. So it's not a big deal. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to do that. Well, I'll let those mobs disperse at this point. Um, but you can see that we got some experience gems and some greater experience gems. And we actually completed a quest. We're going to get a, rares loot, a rare loot box. Mana boost too. Okay. And if we take a look at the Ring of Lesser Discount, this is going to require just any kind of ring, a couple Source Gems, and some Terminite. And this is the Lassium. Can we process it in the... Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's pop over to here. This is going to be one of our special case ores. And so we're going to add it into here. Um... And we don't have it set up to actually go anywhere whenever it becomes nuggets, but that's fine. We'll get to that in just a moment. We're going to go ahead and throw that in. And this is why we mined all that thalassium earlier in the episode. is because we're going to be making use of it. I mean, we didn't mine a ton of it. We don't need a ton of it today, but we do need a little bit. Uh, and then to make our terminite, we can do this in the induction smelter. It's going to require some ender dust. So I'm actually going to need a few more ender pearls as well. But we should be able to... Uh, Look at that. He doesn't even see me. Should be able to use the looting damage spell to great effect here because we have a lot more mana and a lot more mana regen. And what this spell is, is three amplifies and five fortunes. So we get a lot better uh, ender pearl output on this. I should have to go run this through the induction, fire, uh, induction smelter. So, All right, so to make this, we're going to need the four terminite. And then it's greater experience. Yeah. Two of those. A couple source gems and a ring. And we're going to get that crafting. Now, to get the greater discount ring, 
um, thalassium, which means we don't have to process it in the alloy smelter for this. And then we also need for gallium. So there is that. We can go ahead and put that on there, and that's going to give us a discount on our spells. Uh, and we can go ahead and remove that off the list of ours to do, basically. Um, and then to get our regalium, uh, we can actually find regalium ore. I think we've actually got a bunch of it. I don't think this is actually even going to be an issue for us. Or not a bunch of it, but I think we have some. No, we have Clogram. I'm probably thinking of Spellbound. I've got a literal ton of the stuff on Spellbound, if I recall. Uh, but let's head in. We can find some Regalium. I think I've got Regalium Nuggets. And honestly, my, my stuff's such a mess. I'm, I have been organizing. It just takes a little while. And these guys right here, we can actually trade them for the Regalium. Oh, actually, he would buy... Oh, I don't have any of that on me, though. He wants the Relict, the Scream Relict disc. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to just take him in my Soul Gem. Now, it is worth noting, don't, don't release these guys into, like, the overworld. Because they will die. Oh, but never mind. I actually found diamonds here. Let's go ahead and amplify this up. Because it does require obsidian level to break it. And then we can just release him. Oh, his stuff changed. Oh, that's a cool idea, though. We could cycle him. Yeah, there we go. There's 24 regalium. Perfect. Uh, can I get some more? Like I said, there is ore and stuff here that we could get, but uh, we'll just do this. This is perfect. There we go. We got 44 regalium. Any more diamonds? I mean, I can do this any time, but that's something I didn't realize, though, is that soul shards will cycle them like that. That's neat. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, for this one, two regalium, four thalassium, two source gems, and then we just need our ring of lesser discount. Drop that into there, and then we're going to have the Ring of Greater Discount. Okay, now, zoom, oh my god, watch that. Zoom takes, like, no mana. It's, like, instantly just is back. So, great. Okay, uh, and then if we were to fire, like, say, Big Fortune, uh, it still takes, like, 600 mana, but that's not that bad, really. All right, and then do we want Mana Regen or Mana Boost? Honestly, I like Mana Regen. Because we'll just always, it'll be brought back up. Um, and I don't know, we'll grab wheat and we'll grab seeds. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set out, uh, we'll head off kind of in this direction. Um, though really a plains-ish area would be maybe best. But Okay, so right here there's aura blooms growing. And usually that's a pretty good sign uh, that this is going to be a good spot for us. Uh, so what we're going to do, and actually I think those particles coming up, that's another good sign. Ooh. RGB. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab, I've only got the one soul shard at the moment. But we're going to, I don't know if this works with like Alex's mobs, uh, mobs, mod, uh, creatures. Alex's mobs mobs is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know if it's going to work with these, but we're going to try it. Do they despawn like as soon as I leave? They do. Oh, man. No, there he is. Okay, come here. So if we feed those. There we go. There's Spirit of Birthing. Just one, but that's all we need. So um, basically what you want to do is find an area that's high aura. Uh, and usually these aura blooms are a really good sign of that. Uh, you know, assuming that they're natural ones that have just naturally spawned there. Usually those are pretty good signs. Also, if you mark the spot where you get the achievement saying, you know, you're in an area with high aura, then that's that's another good sign. But uh, I didn't mark it, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and then beyond that, it's just regalium. It's going to be a necklace, some aquamarine. Let me go grab that stuff real quick. Okay, so we'll get that going. 
And then we're going to have ourselves the, the amulet of mana regen. Honestly, I'd rather have mana regen, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But now, oh man, it's going to be insane. We fire that off. Look how fast that regenerates. And we're going to make it faster, but I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head back to the end once again. And we're going to set out in search of Amberland. We've got one a little ways off over there. I forgot to bring my shears. I put them away briefly, but uh, that's fine. What I need, it doesn't require shears or anything, but... All right, let's pop down. Let's go ahead and throw on uh, some big fortune, grab that. And let's mine down underneath this, and we're going to find ourselves some amber ore. And we're going to break this with big fortune, ideally. Okay, so that gives us our raw amber. Is there a better... No, there's no, uh, not a better way to process that, but we can compact that and get amber gems. And this is going to allow us to buy stuff from the market uh, related to the end because it does require amber in order to, to purchase that stuff. So there's a little bit more. Yeah, so there's 15. That should be good for now. Let's go ahead and look for the sulfur springs. We have one right over there. Perfect. Okay, so right here is our sulfur springs this is actually a pretty decent a pretty decent one uh, i love these biomes by the way the brimstone and stuff let's go ahead and get ourselves a bit of sulfuric rock a bit of brimstone and if we go down which i did not once again i forgot my shears that's fine i didn't really i didn't really spend much time at home but um what we're going to be looking for let's see Let's go right up here. And uh, at this point, it would be good to... I'm getting to where I don't have enough space for all this. Uh, let's take off shield and let's switch it with aquatic. And that way we have uh, a minute and a half of water breathing. And... It might be possible to zoom through this. Yep. There we go. We're going to come down here. And you see these flowers right here. These are Hydrolux. And what we're going to do is just break that off. Uh, and we did get a Hydrolux sapling. We need a brimstone for these to, uh, to grow. But we're going to break off a bit of this. And we will be setting these up back at home because these plants are actually extremely useful. Um, I'm not sure the extent the pack uses them, but they are very, very good uh, for the route that we're going to be going. Kind of enchanting without enchanting, you know. Uh, it's going to be extremely good for that. So uh, let me go ahead and now switch this back over to our actual shield spell. But let's go ahead and get ourselves a diamond pick. And let's grab our silk touch book. And we're going to go ahead and enchant that. No, wait, we don't need that though. <laughs> I just realized, I looked at it earlier and we don't need that. That's okay. We've got a silk touch pick now. We'll probably use it for spawners or something like that. What I actually need is firmament. And then let's pop over to this astral temple here. And what we're going to do is let's go ahead and link that. Uh, and that way we can start getting uh, star metal. And apparently we got a quest completed. I want to go ahead and get 12 star metal. Then we'll just take our hammer bust that down into stardust okay and i have to go <laughs> i have to go back to the end real quick because actually i don't have enough crystal shards for what i want okay there's two stacks i'm just gonna harvest a chunk okay so let's take these and we're gonna make ourselves another one of these eternal crystals 
And then we're going to take four Eternal Crystals, four Stardust, and one of our Hydrolux Petals. And we're going to make Enchanted Petals. I'm going to want three of these. Oh, you actually use those for Impure Purple Chalk. Uh, but you can make, like with these, you can make it the Enchanted Books. And so we can go through and like basically just manually choose what we want. Uh, for most things, it's not that great. But you can get... Uh, I know mending comes out of here, looting, all the good enchants can come from this. Uh, so if we didn't have a mending book or a silk touch book at this point, we could easily make one. Uh, infinity is in here as well. Mending, you can see mending is actually not that bad. It's only going to cover like the vanilla enchants, but we can use it for that. That's not the purpose that we're making it, but... Uh, so there's our three enchanted petals. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head into the nether for a brief, uh, a brief, a brief second here. And the bee that we're going to be looking for, because uh, we're going to be starting into bees next episode. Um, and then everything that we've been doing this episode will make sense. <laughs> I promise. Uh, there's a reason why we've been doing this. Because our next big batch of automation is going to require it. Um, skeleton bee. I th actually have, I think, two of those. I'm not worried about those. Oh, there's a bee. Is that another glowstone? I want two of any that I find, though. That way I can breed extras. There's a forest bee. There's a boo bee. I'll grab that one. Oh, there we go. Hellish zombie. Where'd you go? Right there. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get at least another one. There's a hellish zombie. But I'm actually really excited to start bees in this pack because bees are so... Going to be so, so much fun in this pack because it's all like enemy mutation and all the bees are kind of like unique. Or all the honeycombs are a bit more unique and everything. I've been looking forward to it and we're at the point now where it's it's coming up, you know. Here we go. Here's a booby. Okay. We are all set now. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and throw all of our new bees into the system. And if we come over here, we actually have... Right here, I set up a chest. And this chest just has a low filter module that's set to allow bees to come in. You'll see that our hellish zombie bees came in. Our forest... Oh, we do have a zombie. S uh, Severe was asking about it and I didn't realize I had one. But you can see we've got all these different bees. These are ones that we just kind of came across like Overworld and Adam and the end. Uh, but in the Undergarden, I did come across one Frosty Bee. I'd like to have another one. Uh, did come across one of those. Also a Slimy Bee and a Beeper. And in addition, uh, in the Undergarden, I came across a Brutish Zombie. Now this bee is completely aggressive, like on site. So I don't know how well it would be to try to capture him in a jar. Uh, but I'm just going to capture him. You know, I got him in the soul gym for now. And then once we set up our base spaces, we can put him in there and he should be fine. Like he's only angry that we're there. And of course, once we have our base spaces set up, we won't be, we won't be in there bothering the bees, you know. So I figure soul gym for now and then be able to free up my soul gym come next episode. So, but anyways, I know that it's wrapping up point for this episode. Uh, so next episode, we are going to be delving into a bit with bees, and then that really shouldn't take us too long, at least to get started and get what I want, uh, and then we're going to uh, kind of continue our project that we were working on this episode, which is going to lead us to some wonderful automation. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.